I uh, keep putting off paying Genshin because I just am not in the mood for it at the moment. Uh, so this is going to be another early morning recording. So I'm going to sound rough. Sorry. I just I, I don't have any interest, but I gotta get through it. So uh, we are finally doing Farina's quest, which means we can finally do the event uh, once we finish this. Hello. Yes, I'm aware this event quest. Uh, hashtag more important things. To yesterday. One day, you and Paimon arrive at the Adventurers Guild to check out the commissions there. Oh, I'm literally at the com- aren't I there? Yep. <laughs> hey Catherine, it's us. Got any new commissions? Specifically one with a huge more attack, perhaps? Sorry, drinking breakfast at the same time. Oh, you don't have to be so direct, the more lucrative the better. You don't have to be so direct, dear. Uh, Paimon's just being enthusiastic. We're old friends now, she gets it. I don't know that I would call that being enthusiastic. There are plenty of other synonyms, or not synonyms, other word choices than enthusiastic, but sure. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see our two most avid adventurers again. Looking for the next challenge, I see. Actually, we do in fact have a rather urgent commission that is still open. Having read the details, however, I don't believe you'd consider it to be lucrative. None of the commissions ever are. Uh, don't worry about that. We were just kidding. So what's the situation? Were you though? Were you? To put it simply, the requester is looking for a temporary replacement actress for their musical. The original cast member ran into some issues and is currently unable to perform the role. <laughs> replacement actress for the musical. But okay, the troupe has sure. also been experiencing some financial difficulties. So unfortunately, they cannot afford to pay the replacement actress. I'm sorry, you want to hire somebody to do an actual job, but then you don't want to pay them. Good fucking luck. Hmm, that does sound like a tricky situation. So basically, they're looking for a volunteer? God, you know the kind of quality you're gonna get for that. That's right. Our adventurers reached out to many actresses, but none of them were willing to take the job. I don't blame them. They've got rent to pay, food to put on the table. How do they have time to volunteer for an entire musical? There are only a few days left until the performance. They left it that late. If they can't find someone in time, they'll probably have to postpone the show. So do it. And delays tend to create all sorts of new problems. I think you've already got a massive problem at hand. You should be addressing it rather than just trying to, you know, put a band-aid on it. Got it. Oh, this one's a doozy. What do you think, Traveler? Any ideas? I think they're stupid and should probably close up shop because they're clearly not good at their Even business. Even if we took the commission, neither of us have any experience starring in musicals. Oh, I didn't say I was going to do it. I thought we were just finding somebody. Very true. Mm. This woman doesn't even have a if voice. If you're interested in helping, why not start by having a chat with the requester? He's right over there. So rather than doing something constructive like... Checking out the people of Fontaine, asking if anybody wants to volunteer. He's standing right there doing fuck all. Yep, I can see why this company has problems. Maybe you can't fill the role yourselves, but you might be able to help him figure out another solution. Maybe there's something he hasn't thought of. Oh, it's that guy, huh? No wonder, he looks like he just ate a sour lemon. Got it. Approved. Oops, wrong Let's option. Go. Not that it matters which one I pick. I just realized she's Hello a top rider. Are you the guy <laughs> looking for a new actress? Wait, I know you two. Are you really willing to act in my musical? Hell no. Wow, sounds like we're pretty famous in Fontaine already. <laughs> you know this, Paimon. This is not news. Uh, but to answer your question, neither of us have any experience in musicals. But we heard that you're in a bit of a bind, so we figured we could at least try to help you think of a solution. I think the phrasing here is not accurate. Neither of us have any experience in musicals. I think the real problem here should be neither of us can sing. That's kind of the more important part. Experience irrelevant at this point. The fact that you can't sing should be the priority here. Ah, I see. It's okay. I knew that asking for a volunteer was a long shot. It's because you're stupid, Lawick. If we can't find someone to step in, We'll have no choice but to cancel the show. And it would be such a shame. You have no one to blame but yourself. Trying to run a musical and refuse to pay your lead actress. Sounds like a you problem, Loic. Can't you cover the budget for a new actress with ticket fees? <sighs> That's the thing. We're not some high-profile theater troupe. Just a group of amateur enthusiasts. 
All our sets and props are very crude. We're grateful enough just to get an audience, never mind ticket fees. No wonder they're not making money. You're terrible at running business. If we had a way to make this profitable, things might have turned out differently. But now, it looks inevitable that we'll disband. Disband? You're splitting up the troop? Oh, I guess the lady at the Adventurer's Guild didn't tell you? Yeah, this is supposed to be our final show together as a troop. One last show. And after that, we go our separate ways. So we were really hoping to end on a high note. Sounds like you're not very good at what you do if you've not got to the point where you can earn money from it. Nobody wants things to just... fizzle out. Not after all the time and effort we've invested into it. Catherine mentioned that one of your actresses can't make it. Yeah. The leading lady, in fact. She's been dealing with a chronic illness ever Ooh, since childhood. Rough. And unfortunately, it flared up again recently. It really drains all her energy, so she's in no state to perform. So just postpone. If you're not paying yourself to do this, there's no detriment to postponing it a few weeks until the chronic illness, you know, dies down. The show just won't be the same without her. But for everyone else's sake, I still hope we can find a way to hold the performance on schedule. It's not like you guys clearly have jobs, so I don't think it's going to matter if you postpone it. Got it! We have a clearer picture now. Uh, let's see if we can come up with any ideas. I got nothing constructive. The show. I don't um, want to. Traveler, how much more are you carrying? None that I'm prepared to give to this inept troop of people. Uh, please, there's no need to go that far. I wouldn't feel right asking such a huge favor. And I can't promise that we'd ever be able to pay you I back. I think the point was that Paimon was trying to give away my Mora for free, sir. With, with no conditions attached. Mora isn't the biggest problem. How do we find someone who's a good fit for the role and has the time good and point. effort and doesn't want to get paid? The just goes through the motions for the Mora that's not exactly rescuing the show. I mean, I think it is. It's better than nothing, isn't it? At least the show goes ahead. We should find someone who will put on the best performance possible. Hmm. Oh, wait! What about... Uh, you know who? I had a thought, but she took so long to speak, I actually lost it. What was it? No, I got nothing. Uh, also, why is Farina the first person who comes to your mind? For the simple fact that she has walked away since the end of the Archon Quest and you have no idea where she is and what her mental and emotional state is. So all of that considered, why is she the first person you think of? Great minds think alike, Eel. I was just thinking that. <laughs> That's how you know we're the best department. <laughs> anyway, she should have all the free time in the world right now. And is in mental and emotional distress. Did you think about that? She's really good at performing, and she was once super popular with the crowd. Performing in a musical should be a piece of cake for her. May I reiterate, you don't know if she can sing, which is the main criteria in a musical. Yeah? Who are you thinking of? Sounds like someone famous. I can't even have my breakfast. Farina. Her? You're... <sighs> That was a joke, right? Unfortunately, the Traveler doesn't know how to joke, nor does Paimon. She just is a joke. Uh, nope. Paimon doesn't actually know if she's performed on stage before, but Paimon's pretty confident that she'd be really good at it. But can she sing? You're not wrong there. She has actually performed in a number of big-name shows she has. before. She's vain. They were one of the reasons she was so popular. But even if she's no longer the Hydro Archon, it's not like she's suddenly a commoner. I mean, technically she is, technically she always was. <laughs> She's still an idol to many people in Fontaine, including myself. I just think Lady Farina might feel a bit out of place in an amateur troupe like ours. You don't know unless you ask. You want the show to go ahead, don't you? Are you prepared to do whatever it takes? Well, yes, but... Apparently but... not, or there'd be no buts. Huh. Fair enough. I mean... If she was actually willing to, then of course I'd be honored to have Lady Farina star in our show. I'm sure the rest of the troupe would be delighted too. Is no one going to stop and ask what the musical is actually about? Because <laughs> I think the the content could also be quite determinate in her decision. I'm sure everyone in our troupe has probably dreamt of performing on stage with her one day. Like, if it was a musical about furries. Are you, is Farina going to be interested in that? Probably not. So you should probably ask what the musical's about. Of course. It all depends on whether she's interested. 
she might consider this opportunity beneath her. I don't know what she would think. I can't speak for her in that regard. No point in stressing about that. We we'll only know if we ask her. Good luck finding her. And besides, things are different now. There's no reason for her to be all high and mighty anymore. Except she's been high and mighty for 500 years. 500 years? God, I don't remember anymore. 500 years. No, don't remember. Let's just say 500 years. <sighs> Even if it wasn't her true personality, per se, it's who she has been for such a prolonged period of time. You can't just stop being something you were pretending to be for that many years. So just because there's not a reason for her to be a high mighty doesn't mean that she can instantly stow it away and it hasn't become part of who she is. That's good. We got to check it on her anyway. Where? She left. Thank you for your help. I guess I'll just stay here and wait for the good news. Good luck. How about you go start rehearsing and doing something constructive rather than just standing here, Loic? Go get a fucking job. How about that? Wait, where does Farina actually live nowadays? She used to live in luxury at the Palais Mermonia, but she's, uh, moved out, right? Paimon never listens. As it happens, I have her current address here. I can provide it to you. You know, that actually creeps me out, Catherine. She definitely wouldn't have come and specifically told you what her current address is. So my question is, how did the creepy puppet lady find out the address of the former Archon? And more importantly, why? Hmm. Catherine has darker levels than we thought. Woo! When did you get here? She was like two steps away the entire time, Paimon. Of course she was listening. <laughs> I came over when things were starting to sound more promising. I thought I should be at the ready in case my assistance is needed. It is my duty to support commissioners in any way I can. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Woo! Now that we've got the address, we'll go find Farina. Back in a jiffy. A little oceanid. I just can't stop and think about how inappropriate it is for us to just go knocking on her doorstep with, with no formal warning. It's just, it, this is not polite in any way, shape, or form. Oh, she still lives locally. Eh, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> what are you giggling for, dear? Dear God. So if you cancel her animation, the voice still goes. Dear God. It's just, it's just, wow. She lives across for a noisy blacksmith? Is she in her right mind? Uh, did Catherine really give us the right address? She lives here? Yep, she's coming around the corner, dear. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with this place. It's just uh, a bit of a step down from the Palais Marmonia. Might I also point out that uh, Farina has no source of income at the moment. Does the uh, government of Fontaine continue to pay her for services rendered uh, so she has an income? Or does she just have an accumulated wealth from her years uh, as Archon? Because she doesn't do anything at the moment. You know, it's common courtesy to make sure the homeowner isn't an earshot when you're denigrating their abode. <laughs> Oh, sad Farina is a great fruit. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean that the wrong way, but she's hilarious. <laughs> okay, when did Poppy got a thin air become all the rage? First Catherine and now you? Maybe you should have some peripheral vision, Paimon. I was just out on a shopping trip. I ran out of macaroni, so I went to grab a few more bags. That is a travesty. One of the best pastas. I used to have a much wider range of choices when it came to food. But now, I'm finding that simple, traditional home cooking can be quite delicious, too. She sounds so downtrodden. Do you get sick of macaroni every day? Yeah, to be honest, I would. Not at all. As long as you have different kinds of sauces in, you can have macaroni and tomato sauce one week, macaroni and bolognese the next. Macaroni and bolognese? Ugh. The only macaroni she'd be having is macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I'd get sick of that absolutely 100%. Oh, sounds like you're really struggling to cope. Right? It's because you have to do all your own cooking now. How rude! Questioning my cooking skills. The audacity! But I'm not wrong. It's not like I have a very eventful life these days. 
Actually, I barely leave the house. So I don't see how it's unusual that my meals are a little simpler now, too. Besides, I'm sure I could master dishes like La Lettre Fossilor or Blubber Profiteroles in no time, if I felt so inclined. Blubber Profiteroles sound repulsive. Ah, there it is. You don't know how to cook. <laughs> Not yet, maybe, but... Anyway, what are you even doing here? I do hope you didn't come here just to ogle at my fall from grace. Ogle? Did you say ogle? I believe the word is ogle, but sure. Let me first be clear that I'm not taking guests at this time. So if you're just here to clown around, then please be on your way. Shoot! I told you you should have called ahead. Did she just shoot me? I'm not a recalcitrant dog. Sorry! We're sorry! Please don't be mad! Paimon was just showing concern for your well-being in the only way that Paimon can. Yeah, exactly! What the traveler said! Paimon wasn't trying to make fun of you. Oh, you 100% why do I lie? Hang on a sec! You weren't exactly holding back either! I said nothing that was offensive. That's not important. We actually came here to ask you for your help. My help? Uh, well... Maybe you're forgetting that I'm no longer the mighty Hydro Archon. I don't even have a vision, you know. Ah, that's sad. Don't worry, it's nothing that serious. It's just very specific, and you're the one with the power to help! If not, you're the no one. You're the only person for the job. I'm sure you could find somebody who oh? tried. Well, if that's the case, then... Fine. I'll spare you the lecture about your attitude just now. Though, why would Farina want to take a position that puts her directly in the spotlight now? When she's kind of been shunned by the entirety of, of Fontaine-ish, kind of, and she's also exiling herself in a sense by shutting herself away. I don't know that she's going to be eager to be in the spotlight. So tell me, what specifically makes this matter so specific? You tell Farina about the troops' plans for its final performance. Ah, I see. I knew you couldn't have come all this way just to amuse yourselves at my expense. A Pamon could have. After all, I was once the brightest star in all of Fontaine, well-versed in all the various performing arts. A mere musical is well within my capabilities. <laughs> it's interesting that to see that the longer we converse, the more she starts to sound more like her, her normal self. Mostly because she's, you know, not talking to anybody. She's away in her house. So the more she exposes herself to conversation, she sort of relaxes more into herself. But given the present circumstances, I'm afraid I must regretfully decline your casting request. Yeah, that's honestly what I thought. How come? It sounds like this would be a breeze for you. True. But I have made a decision to retire from the stage. Although I am no longer required to play the role of the Hydro Archon, the time I spent inhabiting that character has left an indelible mark on me. I'm sure it has. Centuries of pretending to be a different person changes you completely. That's what I said. I'm not the same person I once was. That's exactly what I said. Of course, that can't be undone now. It's too late. And I have no intention of reinventing myself all mm -hmm, over again. Mm -hmm. That is the unfo unfortunate consequence of the role you've had to play. But at least I can say that I no longer desire to play any new roles. So that's how you really feel. Uh, Paimon can understand, but this is just a one-off part to fill in for someone who's sick. Surely that's okay. Whether it's a one-off or not, it's a boundary that I've committed to no longer cross. You hear that, Paimon? It's a boundary, so stop pushing. If I make an exception to the rule now, I'm just leaving a back door for myself. Mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. would be the same as not having a boundary in the first place. Correct. It's enabling yourself. So I'm not going to perform, and that is that. Okay, guess there's no convincing you. Well, is there anything else we can do to help out the troop? Otherwise, they'll just have to disband without any fanfare. Do you know any other actors who might be interested in the role? Nope. Short <laughs> and to the point. Okay. I've never been great at maintaining relationships. Oh, we know. Besides, anyone I've ever worked with probably couldn't wait to get rid of me. Since I'm just an ordinary person now. 
They'll probably just laugh in my face if I go asking them for help. You shouldn't assume the worst of people. What's wrong with making one exception? True, but... I mean, could you even blame them? I show up out of the blue, begging and groveling for their help with a show they won't even get paid for? Ooh, no way. I'm dying from embarrassment just thinking about it. <sighs> nope. Not happening. What the fuck is this? Can't you even get your ellipses correct? Well, is there anything else we can do? This performance really means a lot to the guy we're working for. <sighs> Have I not made myself clear? You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't want this job, nor do I know of anyone else who would. Right. Paimon, just shut up and leave. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean for that to sound so harsh. I wish I could help, really. But if I thought I had the answer to this problem, I would have said so by now. Correct. So stop pushing her. It's all right, Farina. Paimon just wanted to make sure we tried everything. Oh, everyone in the troupe will be so disappointed. Uh, uh, I get what you mean, but Jesus, did you have to say that right to Farina? <laughs> Let's try to come up with plan B. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do now. All right, then. We'll see you around, Farina. Uh, toodaloo to you, too. I'm going home to take a rest now. And eat some macaroni, ostensibly. Go back and pass on the word about Farina's views. It's too bad, but we have to respect Farina's decision. <clears throat> Damn straight you do. Hmm, maybe the thought of performing brings up too many painful memories now. You think? Oh, we have someone over here. Who's this chick? Is this the chronic illness lady or is this a new contender? Huh? What's going on? Are they arguing? Didn't look like it, but okay. That's besides the point. I'll ask you again. Dolphy. Why did you start looking for a replacement without my consent? Yes, yeah, is the When did old I lady. tell you I'm going to take a step back? You didn't need to say it. We've known each other for how long now? We know the signs. But you never tell us about your illness, even when it's clearly flaring up. I mean, she seems fine enough to argue with you. And that gives you the right to make a decision on my behalf? Hello. Shortly after you left, the troop's lead actress came to the Adventurers Guild. She believes that she's healthy enough to perform. Excuse me, but can you both take a moment to discuss something else for now? The adventurer assigned to your commission has returned. How is this guy even affording a commission? It just occurs to me to ask. He doesn't have any money to pay an actress. How does he have time to post a commission? Sorry, I was just Sorry, dealing money. with a little does misunderstanding. Time to money? So, how did your conversation with Farina go? Yeah, it didn't. Sadly, it's a no from her. We tried to persuade her, but she wasn't having it. She doesn't want to play the role for personal reasons. I see. Well, circumstances have changed a little, so maybe that's not such bad news after all. You see, our leading lady has just informed me that she's well enough to make it to the show after all. Staging the musical with the full original cast was always the dream, of course. Sounds like everything worked itself out then. Imagine if we had managed to convince Farina to join, only for her to find out she's no longer needed. Yeah, she'd be livid. We'd get the scolding of a lifetime. Jeez, is Lady Farina really so harsh with people? Uh, yeah, yes, have you met the woman? <laughs> only joking, calm down. So, uh, guess we can consider this case closed now, huh? Despite the fact that we failed to complete the commission, we were still racking our brains for ideas on the way back here. <laughs> <sighs> Look, there's no point arguing with you about this anymore. You've made yourself very clear, so I'll stop looking for a replacement. This is the last chance we have, though. If your illness flares up again, there won't be time to find anyone to replace you. So, are you absolutely sure you'll be able to handle it? The whole team is putting everything they have into this final performance. We have to make sure it goes ahead. Yes, I'm completely confident. I've been taking a new medication from the doctor, and it's working brilliantly. I'll definitely be able to tough it out until the performance day. Hold up. You're taking new medication? Dolphy! Have, have, have doctors taught you nothing over this period of time that you've been ill? You can't rely on a new medicine 
treating your body the way it wanted to in the first few weeks. Medicines of this kind can have adverse effects permanently. While you take it, so you have to stop taking it. It can have adverse effects in just the first few days, a few weeks that you're taking it. So you've got to wait for those side effects to settle down. You can't just take a new medication and expect everything to be okay. There are often problems to changing medication. Oh, this is a bad idea. I share everyone's desire to commemorate all our years as a troop with a proper farewell show. So the last thing I want is to be left out. I don't disagree with you, but like, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Every one of us thinks of this troop as their home, myself included. You're right. I'm sorry. I let myself get too worried about the show. I should have asked for your permission first. Eh, all's well that ends well. Sounds like the show will go on. I guess we see Farina. Um, I'm assuming, oh, sorry. Um, the voice actress for, what was her name again? Dolphy. Her voice sounds familiar, so I wonder if she's voiced another character in Genshin before. Uh, come on, wait a sec. Uh, sure. But I don't speak, because it's going to be the most silent conversation ever. Jesus, she got closer than I thought. Uh, hey, how did you... Uh, I, I was just passing by because I realized I forgot a couple of items on my shopping list. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm coming. No need to drag me. <laughs> Travel's uh, getting bodily uh, with Farina. Hello, one and all. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation just now. Farina? Didn't you say you were gonna take a rest at home? What are you doing here? I... I was just ever so slightly concerned about the situation you mentioned. Yes, a teensy bit concerned, that's all. When you came to talk with me earlier, I jumped right to explaining my position and said some strongly worded things. And all before I even had a full grasp of the situation. Anyway, I just feel a bit bad about how it went down. I'm sorry, Paimon. Oh, it's totally fine! Paimon didn't take any of that personally. And why didn't you just show yourself? You really have a knack for asking the most uncomfortable questions, don't you? Yep, I get the feeling the traveler does. I <laughs> felt very sheepish, having had a change of heart after flatly refusing you. And then, to make matters worse, you caught me. You weren't exactly hiding. But in any case, it sounds like the issue has already been resolved. Yeah. When they said they were going to ask for your help, I almost had a heart attack. I mean... How could we be worthy of having Lady Farina star in our show? There's no need to think like that. And no need to keep addressing me as Lady. Just Farina is fine. I was wondering, if this troupe is so important to all of you, why does it have to disband? Because they make no money. If the difficulties are purely financial, then there must be a solution. You could put the shows on pause while you look for a sponsor, for instance. Everyone seems so devoted to the troupe. I'm sure if you keep chipping away, you'll find a way through. <sighs> we all want to believe that, but some things are just beyond our control. I know why it sounds familiar. She sounds like Dia. That's why it sounds familiar. Everything's been going downhill ever since we lost our director. She was the heart and soul of our troupe. She kept us going. Her name was O'Reilly, and she was the founder as well as the artistic director of our troupe. And tragically, she was a victim in the serial disappearances oh, case. Oh no! That's tragic! Rip. What? Guess she's initiated now. <laughs> That's actually how I recognize these two. It was all thanks to their efforts that the true culprit was brought to justice. <sighs> but still... No sentence can bring our director back to us. Nope, she gone. She was a loyal fan of your performances, Lady, uh, Miss Farina. They were what first inspired her to get into musical theater. She rallied many people around her who were destitute or had lost their sense of purpose <clears throat> in life and convinced them to join her troupe. She wrote her own scripts, acted on stage, and mentored each and every one of us. People loved our performances back then. We seemed to be going from strength to strength. Things were really looking up for us. And then disaster struck. Yeah. After that, the entire troop fell into disarray. Is this Farina's new job? 
being the director of a musical troupe. <laughs> None of us know anything about script writing, let alone how to handle the business side of things. We've been doing the best we can, but despite our efforts, things are slowly but surely falling apart. So what you should have posted a commission for was not a leading lady. It was actually a director for your troupe. It's agonizing, but ultimately, we'd rather end things now on our own terms than stick it out to the bitter end and watch all our dreams turn to dust. Oh, that's so sad. <sighs> what a terrible waste. A gifted artist from humble beginnings who achieved so much and no doubt had much more to give. And then her life was so cruelly taken. I suppose it's fair to say then that this final show, besides being your farewell to the stage, is also your final gift for her? Yes, exactly. We all miss her terribly. Well, good thing I followed the Traveler here. After hearing this tragic tale, I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Uh, Farina? I know what you're thinking, but I by no means plan to cross the boundary I've set for myself. Besides, they're no longer looking for a replacement anyway. I can, however, provide some artistic guidance from the vantage point of a highly experienced audience member. But only if you feel this is something that would help, of course. She's so nice. Oh, most definitely. We'll take any guidance that you can give. What if they're really bad? <laughs> Has anyone stopped to think about that? What if they're just really terrible? We unfortunately don't have any budget for a consultant, though. Will that be a problem? She's got all the free time in the world. I don't need any compensation. All I'd ask in return, if you're willing, is that you tell me some more about the life and work of your late director. Something I've begun to realize since my departure from the opera Epicles is that there's a lot you don't see when you observe everything from on high. The law only judges criminal behavior and does not weigh human emotion. The court's verdict can settle the question of criminal liability, but what about all the unresolved emotions of the parties involved? What happens to them? Yawning. A verdict can bring emotional catharsis. Yeah. An interesting answer. But if you ask me, I think all emotion shall ultimately return home to the heart and slowly settle with the passage of time. Take, par exemple, how this troupe pines for their late director. Things such as this I have never witnessed before. And so I should like to observe, perchance to understand. Huh. Still a fan of your old dramatic monologues then, huh? Was that really necessary, Paimon? She was being honest and sincere and essentially describing her shortcomings in life and how she doesn't understand the emotional triggers of human beings despite being one and she'd like to observe and learn. And you make fun of her? What the fuck is wrong with you? You just want to get back in on the action, don't you? Did you just listen to a word she said? Dumb. No, no, no. This is a completely different situation. <sighs> Pearls before swine. Ah, the name's not swine, it's Paimon! Would you be willing to join me? Come on, take a break from adventuring to listen to a story. Since it's you, I'll do it. Especially since it's related to the serial disappearance. Thank case. you all so much. Our director was a huge fan of Miss Farina's performances. As, of course, we all are. All right, follow me. We'll go to our usual practice space. Please excuse the size. It's a little on the smaller side. How small is smaller? 